Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you for joining Sunday School today. Please shall we bow our heads to pray. Father, we thank you. We worship you for this privilege. Holy Spirit, the greatest of all teachers, we welcome you to teach us by the Spirit of the Most High God. We ask that that which the Father will have us hear and do, we receive grace for it today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I need you to say this prayer, please. Can you say, Father, I thank you for your loving kindness towards me and my household. I want you to thank God for everything that is dear to you, everything that is related to you. Lord, we thank you for every member of our, our family under the Promised Land family and our individual families. We thank you for our spouses, our children, we thank you for everyone related to us. Thank you for everyone we're accountable for. In Jesus' powerful name, we have prayed. Amen. I hope you had time to reflect on last week's topic. I hope you saw reason to give God praise. And we are continuing with another topic today. And it's lesson two. It says, be thankful. Be thankful. And our passage is taken from Psalm 101 to 5. Psalm 101 to 5. I read, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye land. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with thanksgiving, uh, with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that had made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanks, even, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful, be thankful unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good, and his mercies endures forever. Its mercies endure is everlasting, and his truth endure to all generations. Hallelujah. Memory verse is taken from Psalms chapter 95. Verse two, let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. I would like you to say that while you stay muted. Uh, Psalm 95 verse five, let us come before him, his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. Let someone shout hallelujah at the other end. Hallelujah. Be thankful. To be thankful basically means to be full of thanks, to be appreciative, to show appreciation. Okay, so in the context of our lesson today, being thankful is a show, an expression of gratitude, an expression of thanksgiving. And in order to avoid being in the category of ingrates, it's always expected that every true child of God should show appreciation. If we search deep, if we truly keep a journal and we are, we are faithful to the, the testimonies of God in our life, we will know that God has been good. Regardless of what we come across, God has been faithful. Some people do have, you know, what they call germane reasons, genuine reason to be uh, ungrateful. They feel God has robbed them of this or that. But we must not at any point forget that the mercies of God endures forever. This is what I say to people. If you can hear me now, if you can see me, and if you can make sense out of what I'm saying, it means that you're enjoying life and you have a sound mind. Those two are just enough for you to praise God. I mean, there are people in asylums, there are people that do not have the soundness of mind and the health that you enjoy. Someone shout hallelujah. In order to avoid any one of us running into the consequences, the dangers of ungratefulness, our lesson will articulate a few things like we've seen in Psalm 101 to 5. It says, all ye people, all ye lands, they make a joyful noise. Every tongue, every tribe, every nation. Why should we make a joyful noise unto the Lord? Because our God is good and his mercies endure forever because we are also the sheep of his pasture. I pray as we go through this two lesson outline, we will see more reasons to be thankful, to be thankful to our creator 
And of course, in his mercy, his goodness will be lavished upon us this morning. So we have, what are the reasons to thank God? Hallelujah. What are the reasons? Why should we thank God? So we're just going to mention it, a few of them. One, thanksgiving is a command. As we see in 1 Chronicles 16, verse 8, give thanks unto the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds amongst men, amongst the people. Okay, it says, give thanks and let the deeds of the Lord not remain with you. Let people come to hear and also glorify the name of the Lord. So it's a command. It's not, it's not whether you like it or not. It's a do. You have to do it. Believers request, okay, should start and end with thanksgiving. Praise the Lord. Philippians 4, 6 says, be careful for nothing, but in everything with prayers and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be known unto, made known unto God. Did you, did you see the sequence? Be careful for nothing. Don't let anything stress you. Just be careful enough to bring it up with prayers and, and your supplications with thanksgiving, sandwiches with thanksgiving. And the Lord will definitely make those requests known unto God and he will hear you. We give thanks to some of the reason is because of the victories we have from the battles of life. Bless the Lord. Okay, the victories over the battles of life. This God has delivered us. If you've lived beyond the two or three decades, you know that it's by the Lord's mercies you've not been consumed. And if you've even lived uh, for the past year that we had a, a ravaging pandemic that we are still trying to battle with, you will know that it is only by the Lord's mercies that the Lord has seen you and your household through to this day. Praise the Lord. Okay, thanksgiving is offered to God for the miracles he has done, for the restorations he has given. Praise the Lord. We, we give thanks to our God for restoration. We give thanks to our God for his wonders. Praise the Lord. And we see Psalm 126, 1 to 2 say, when the Lord turned around the captivity of Zion. I hope somebody is already excited and being thankful. When the Lord turned poverty into wealth, when he turned joblessness into a job that is gainful, when he turned that uh, business without profit to a, a one that generates so much profit, we were like them that dream dreams. Then was our mouth filled with praise, laughter, and our tongue with singing. Someone will sing a new song in the name of Jesus. One of the primary reasons we were created is to give God praise. Hallelujah. We were, we, we, humans are... are uh, People God have loved and created to give him praise. Isaiah 43, 21 says, the people that I have formed, that they might show forth my praise. So if you're not giving praise, you're lacking behind in the expectation of God. Hallelujah. You are created to give him praise. You are created to give him praise. Maybe you should say that to yourself over and over. I am created to give him praise. So anytime you wake up in the morning, you've not said thank you. You've not expressed gratitude, you've not shown appreciation. You know you owe God something. And I know that we will not owe God, hallelujah. So we go, we go to what are the benefits of Thanksgiving? We've seen some of, okay, the, the, the inexhaustible uh, reasons why we should give thanks to God, okay? We can't exhaust it, but we're just taking a few. Now let's look at the benefits. Now, if you cultivate a habit of showing gratitude, it has immense rewards. If you cultivate a habit of showing gratitude, it has immense reward. And definitely, you are going to attract an overflowing uh, blessing that not only speaks in your own existence, it will be transferred to your generations born and unborn. Now, these are some of it. Thankful people will always receive answers to prayers. The word of God says that Jesus came to the tomb of Lazarus. He cried out and he said, Lord, I thank you. John 11, 41 to 40. He said, Lord, I thank you for you always hear me. <laughs> he said that you have heard me. Praise the Lord. How many times have you started with your prayer with this? <laughs> thank you for you have heard me. Praise the Lord. I pray that the Lord will help our faith to leap up. Understanding that before we come to him, he already knows what the situation is so that we can begin to thank him. There is a song that our, our amazing choir renders. They said, had it be, been, I know, I for don't begin to thank, I for don't begin to praise. 
even before you answer. So coming, coming forward with an understanding that our prayers have been answered. Okay, so some of those benefits also, abundant provision. Jesus lifted the few items, bread and fishes up to heaven and said, Father, I thank you. <laughs> and after, you know, it, it's, a, it's a secret multiplier effect. It's a multiplier effect. When we're able to say thank you for this, he just thanked God. And he handed the same item, the very same item. They didn't tell us that they went into a tent and saw a lot of it stacked up. They said, he lifted up his hands, handed over those few items. I said, thank you, Lord, for this. And when he put down his hands, he passed it on to them and said, begin to distribute. And here we are with a story. He fed multitudes with just less than a dozen items, less than a dozen items. That doesn't happen. <laughs> I mean, it's not magic. It can only be miracle. And it came because of Thanksgiving. Praise the Lord. What is that little thing you have? You know, whenever God wants to do some miracles, so what do you have in your hands that you're not grateful for? Can you begin to thank God for those things? And you will see reasons. You will begin to see God multiply them. You are thankful. Okay, some of the be uh, benefits of Thanksgiving is that thankful people will always be delivered from bondage. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 16, 25 to 26. Paul and Silas, they prayed they sang. And they are prisoners, the people with them in the same prison. They had them. The word of God says that the foundations of the, there was an earthquake that shook the foundations of that prison. And everything that binded them, feet, hands were broken. Okay? Feet, hands were, it went off. The chains, whatever, they, they made sure they fastened it so hard that they could not escape. Hallelujah. And guess what? The Lord of hosts who inhabits the praise of his people because he cannot put his feet down on that prison and something will not go wrong with the foundation. He shook the foundation of that prison. They prayed and they sang. Deliverances abound when we praise God, when we become thankful people. Hallelujah. Thankful people enjoy peace and joy. Thankful people enjoy peace and joy. They, they are calm in storms because they know that he who has, has promised will not fail. Thankful people enjoy divine presence. The presence of God is, is resident with them that fear him. Wherever the Lord is praised, there will the Lord, where, there will God find an abode. I pray that your car, your, your living room, every space that you have the privilege of occupying will turn to be a ground of praise. And you will use, you will give God praise from every corner you find yourself. Hallelujah. Thankful people also experience complete restoration, wholeness. Were they not then that were cleansed? How come it's only one that came to say thank you? You remember the story of the lepers in the book of Luke chapter 17, 16, verse 19. Don't say, don't begin to think it's an entitlement. Let's learn to say thank you. Even in the secular world, when you are very well, when you are very, very quick to appreciate whatever is done for you. You just notice that people, people uh, feel uh, comfortable uh, giving out, reaching out to you with ease than people who struggle to say thank you. There's always a, a treatment you get from colleagues, from your management, from anyone around you. It just opens doors seamlessly. Thankful people will always enjoy victory without a fight. Hallelujah. And when they raised their voice for the Lord, when they sang praise, Second Chronicles 20, 21 to 22, the Lord laid an ambushment. They didn't have to fight that battle. It was the Lord's battle. The word of God said, as they began to sing, as they began to raise their voices, he laid an ambushment. Somebody will say, you've already promised to fight the battle. Why were they waiting for why was God waiting for them to start praise and worshiping? <laughs> okay, the Lord will help us to have understanding. If the kings of this world, before they approach their thrones, they are, they are, they, they are revered, names are called, you know, it feels that we reign them with praise. How much the glorious Father in heaven, praise the Lord. We have several dangers of ingratitude, okay? 
why do some people find it difficult, okay, to show God gratitude? Ah, uh, ingratitude is a result of vain imagination. It comes from a, a heart of darkness. Sometimes your, <laughs> your thanksgiving is senseless to the ordinary person, but it is more profitable and thankful not to grumble. The word of God promises or it advises us, do everything you do without grumbling, without murmuring, so that you will find a reward, so that in this crooked and perverse generation, you will be seen as upright. There are several reasons why people are, ungrate are ungrateful to God, because of their sin, because of spiritual uh, uh, blindness, which I call lack of illumination in the spirit. They lack understanding in the spirit. So they just group in about and feel that the understanding they have is sufficient and they begin to nag at God. Refusal to take account of what God has done. I said earlier, take account of what God has done. If you've lived for three decades, begin to itemize it. Pick up a pen. You will be amazed. Probably you've not done it. That's why you've not seen reason to thank God. Pride. It goes before a fall. Pride. You're just so you've become and there for you. It's by the work of your hands. What are the dangers of ingratitude? Every act of ingratitude comes with an attendant danger. The risk of losing the existing things you already have. Blessing, salvation, your relationship with God, and heaven. If one an, an, an ingrate is not careful, you lose everything you think you have gotten. Because trust me, no matter how loving a father, a, an earthly father is, you want to have your children. Limiting one's blessings or uh, answered prayers. Those people have their prayers shut out. Because they come, with a, they come grumbling. They come demanding. Rather than thanking God for what he has and coming to make intercessions, they grumble into the presence of God and they grumble out. It could resist, it could result to, pardon me, in emptiness. The more you grumble, the more you murmur, the more the storehouse runs empty. And this can ultimately lead to sorrow, making restoration practically difficult. I pray that at every point we'll remember that our God is a good God and he will not deprive us of anything good. Praise the Lord. As we learn to become thankful as we to thank God for every little and every tiny and big thing. I know that we will not be cut short of the unlimited supply of God. Every child should learn to be thankful and not be caught in the web of unthankfulness, ungratefulness, and its dangers. Show gratitude to God. Ensure you do that. Showing gratitude to God ensures continuous divine presence. And I know that none of us, after now, by the help of the Holy Spirit, will see reasons to be uh, ungrateful. We will remain grateful children of God. Praise the Lord. Before we, 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 we uh, call it a day today, I just want you to reflect. In any way you have been, you've actually... Uh, notice you've not thanked God enough, you've expressed, you know, those attributes of ingratitude. I just need you to say, Father, have mercy on me. I receive understanding by the help of your Holy Spirit today. I'm so sorry for driving your presence far from, because in great honesty, the presence of God is far from them. The divine presence of God, that aura of God is far from them. Because God will not be in a place where he's not welcomed. And you say, Father, forgive me, have mercy on me. May your grace, oh Lord, be established in my heart once more. And may you, oh Lord, in your mercy, give me the garment of praise. Help me with the understanding that praise is what you deserve. My praise will not go to anyone but to you. If you've said that prayer, I know that the Lord has heard you and the Lord will give you all that it takes to become a grateful child of God from today. So shall we say this prayer, Father? Forgive me for every act of ingratitude. Still in the line of the prayer with me. Every act of ingratitude, little, small, in every way I've nagged you, in anywhere, everywhere I've seen, okay, only, only what you've not done rather than all you've done and done well for me and my loved one, Father, have mercy, okay? Give me the grace to become a 
to become thankful, very thankful for everything you have done, everything you have done. Give me the grace to be thankful. It requires grace. This is grace. It requires grace. Complete grace from the throne of mercy today. Ask the Lord to give you the grace to be thankful. Honestly, is it is ingratitude has a spirit, and gratitude has a spirit. Okay, receive the grace to be thankful. Receive the grace to show appreciation for whatever the Lord has done, and that's where you will live peaceably with God, with men, and with God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I know if you've said those prayers, the Lord has heard, he has answered, and he will continue to keep your feet standing in him, giving him praise, worship in every corner, in every situation. Remember, do not withdraw from giving praise and thanks to God. Hallelujah. Let someone shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let a grateful heart shout hallelujah. 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 As Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, glory to God. Praise hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. Thank you, hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for always feeding us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, we give you all the glory. We are grateful. Thank you, Lord. 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 Good morning, sister. Then, uh, thank you. God bless you. Good morning. 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 Sister Cecilia. Good morning. Everyone. Good morning. 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 Good morning, God bless you. Amen. Sister Christy. Good morning, Good morning, Ma. Good morning, Good morning, Ma. Good morning, 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 See you all in church. See you. Bye.